Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my August reset. I will be talking about my goals, some memories from July, and things that I want to accomplish in August. So if you would like to hear what I am planning to accomplish this month, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first is going to be my July recap. And I'm just going to tell you guys about the good things that happened in July um, that I remember from the top of my head because July was really busy for me. It always is. I have like two birthdays. We had a music festival we went to that we go every year. This is my third year going and it was really fun. It's always really fun. Um, which I just went to last weekend. Like I'm still recovering from it. <laughs> I literally still have a headache. Um, but that was so fun. I did also get remote start put into my car. So that's really awesome. I'm so happy that I have it. That is one thing I wanted for a car because I was on such a short notice to find a car. The car that I got did not have remote start. So, um, I just put in a request right away to get remote start installed. It was reasonable. I thought it would be a little bit more expensive, but it wasn't. So I'm really happy that I was able to afford it. Next is my things I want to work on for August. Now the first thing that I really want to work on for August is a no buy. <laughs> I have not done one of these in such a long time and I just feel like I need to grab a hold of my finances right now <laughs> because because I am working two jobs I'm having a lot more money coming in and I have just been spending it really fast. So I want to grab a hold of my money habits and put a stop to the spending. So starting this month, my first paycheck, I will be on a no buy for makeup and just random shopping trips to the store. I found that I keep having these thoughts of, oh, I should just go to the store and pick something up, pick two things up, come back with like 10 things. So I need to put a hold to that and not do that and I'm really excited to track my progress with it. It's honestly like a 50-50 with me. I'll either do really good and not spend money or I'll do really bad and overspend. So we'll see how it goes. Um, for the books, I don't think I will have too much of a problem because I bought so many books in the last two months that I need to actually start reading and I also have Kindle Unlimited and that has been really great. So um, I think I'll be fine with with the book area makeup i haven't been into buying much makeup lately which is really good because it is so hot right now because of the summertime i'm not complaining but since it is so hot i'm not wearing much makeup so i don't have the need to go buy more makeup and also i'm not watching many makeup videos which is good on my part because that is what makes me want to go buy makeup so i'm going to stay away from that um Okay, so my goals, I have them in a few categories. We're going to start with the YouTube category. My go first goal for YouTube is to gain 10 subscribers. It's not a lot for most people, but for a small channel like me, it is really hard to gain subscribers in a month. Even just two subscribers, I've noticed that there's a small incline, but it's not high enough for me to be monetized. I really, really want to be monetized. Um, I have the subscribers, I just don't have the watch hours. So that's what's holding me back from everything, which is really sad because my literal dream is to have my YouTube channel be monetized. It's been like, it has been a dream since I was like 12 here on YouTube. Um, so if I could just gain at least 10 subscribers or just gain more watch hours this month, that will help me to reach my ultimate goal of being monetized. My next goal for YouTube is to post 12 videos this month. That is a lot like when you hear about it but technically it's like three videos a month and lately since I do work two jobs it's been a hard balancing act for me to post two videos a week but I'm gonna push myself to post three videos a week someday weeks I probably will not be able to but I think that I will be able to do that and I just want to see how far I can go and see if I can accomplish that goal so next is a financial goals um, if you're new here or if you don't watch 
specific videos on my channel i just started a series called road to 10k and that is basically a savings challenge where i post bi-weekly when i get paid of me saving money into my savings to reach ten thousand dollars for a cushion and i'm really excited about it it's helping me it's just really fun to do and i feel like it will inspire others to do the same thing um so my first financial goal is to save a thousand dollars this month i know i will be able to do it um but just to have it as a goal and look at it every single day gives me more motivate motivate motivation to put more into the savings um so my next financial goal is not to eat out more than twice a week um it's just me and my boyfriend here so we do have the freedom to pick up fast food if we want to or pick up something from a restaurant and bring it home because we don't really care what we eat so um my goal is to eat out less than two times a week so yeah my last financial goal is to save two hundred dollars this month into my savings cash envelope now i do have my ten thousand dollar cash envelope but i want another cushion envelope um, so that is going to be my emergency fund. My first goal is to get it to $1,000 and then my next goal will be getting it to $3,000. So right now I'm at $20. Um, so this month my goal is to get it to $200 or to add $200 to this month's savings challenge. So that is my goal for my emergency fund. So next is my work. I have been working way too much, <laughs> basically. So I have my part-time job, which I work every single day. And then I have my full-time job, which I work three nights a week. But I've been picking up shifts literally every single week. One, one week I'll do one shift. The other week I'll pick up two more shifts. So I've been working like five days a week at my full-time job. And it is a lot of stress and strain on my body so my goal is to lay low and really evaluate take a minute to see if i really need to pick up a shift or not um i guess that comes with a part of me being too nice and wanting to please everyone so i do say yes but i need to stop that sometimes and just say no when i know that i need to take a break so that is a work goal that i want to accomplish this month is to say no when I need to because I don't need to overwork myself um and then another goal is to pay off my phone my phone is almost paid off I have about 136 dollars left until it is fully paid off I do want to upgrade my phone because I did break the camera it's cracked but I have the yellow iPhone 11 and the top camera is cracked so it's like my pictures are a little bit glary but it's not too much of a deal so i'm not worried about it but i just want to pay the phone off so that i can upgrade when i'm ready i'm thinking in about six months i might upgrade or sometime before the new year i may upgrade i do probably i either want to stay with the iphone 11 but a different color or um upgrade to the 13 i'm not sure yet but that is one of my goals is to pay off the phone so I don't have to worry about the payments and also so it can go down because I did buy a new iPad and it is the new iPad Air 5 in Starlight. I do have a video coming up. You guys probably have already seen it already. If not, then it will be up after this video and I'm loving it. So you might be wondering Courtney, why did you just get another iPad? You have the iPad Pro. Yes, I do. I just paid that off in July, this July. So like a few weeks ago, I just paid it off. But that iPad only works on Wi-Fi. And with my living situation where I live, we don't get internet providers out here. We literally have like a satellite and that was not good at all. Um, so there was no time for me to even use my ipad unless it was offline and everything i do is online so i decided to buy a whole new one um as soon as i paid my ipad other one off because this one is connected to my phone plan which is verizon 
so it is its own separate line so i can be on it all day long just like a cell phone but it does not have a cell phone number so you can't like make calls or whatever but you know what i mean it gets internet so i don't need to worry about connecting to wi-fi and i love it so much not only because it is brand new but because it is on my phone plan so it acts as another phone line and that it has internet like a cell phone so i don't need to be on my cell phone all day long i can be on my ipad when i need to do things and i feel like i'm going to be more productive with this i'm thinking about i don't know where i'm going to resell it but i will probably resell my last ipad that i literally just bought um to either best buy i think you can return it and get a bunch of money off or try to sell it online i don't know for sure yet let me know down below if you guys have any hints or like what you know what i should do i do want to get most of the money back from it because i barely used it this whole year so i don't know yet but i'm loving this ipad so much i've literally had it for two days and it's the best thing ever and i'm really thankful that i have it with my phone plan so that's basically it those are my goals and financial plans for august let me know if you guys have any goals that you are setting for august what you plan on doing if you have any special events coming on i don't really have anything going on this august except for working so i think i will be able to get all this done <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will see you in my next video